I treat my patients is the way I treat my sister or I would treat my mother. And I think you really have to take good care of people. If you're going to be treating them, you should treat them the way you would somebody that you really care about. She was very professional, but she was also very caring and very warm. She, um, she was uh, just a, the perfect blend of the two. From the start of the practice, of course, I'm a young mom. I was pregnant half of the time that I was seeing patients, running back and forth with my own small children. But I was, you know, in my late 30s and 40s and starting to see my body changed, and I can certainly relate to the women that were coming into the office. And I think it really made women feel really comfortable to know that when they told me they hate the way their belly looks when they sit down, I could say, I know exactly what you mean. I have four kids. The consultation was like having a conversation with a good friend who also happen to be you know a phenomenal doctor between being a woman having my own kids being married getting older I think I can really relate to my patients but besides all that I have the qualifications I had really good training training up in New York Hospital training in breast reconstruction learning about different devices going through the whole evolution of getting breast implants back on the market really making sure that women had good choices and even more importantly, once they had those choices, making sure they were really well educated and made good, safe decisions. My number one goal with my patients is education. There's a lot of information out there, but um, and it can be quite confusing, but with Dr. Glixman, it was so precise. If you really educate a patient with every modality you can, visuals, letting them handle, for example, breast implants, letting them see other patients before and afters, utilizing the Vectra, the 3D simulations that we have now, where they can actually see the implant on themselves, it manages a patient's expectations. I think second to education and the planning before a procedure is making sure that I continue to follow them basically forever.